Hey guys, if you're interested in any figures or figure accessories that I have currently up for sale, go ahead and send me an email. Just go to my channel page on YouTube and go to the about section, click on that, and you'll be able to get in touch with me. How's it going my fellow collectors? I am back once again with a short video this time. Uh, I just noticed that there is practically no uh, videos or social media or anything about how to remove the belt from the DX-19 Batman figure. And I've had this figure since it was released, which was what, like two years ago now? Uh, and for the longest time, uh, I've wanted to get his original belt off. Um, because this belt that he has on right now is from the DX-12. It's the one that's like, doesn't have any utilities on it. Uh, it's, just, it's just bald, you know, it's just the belt itself. And that's the one he was wearing when he was in Hong Kong. Uh, along with the backpack that he had. So, I, I, when I got the DX-19, I was all like, you know, I'm just going to take that belt off and put uh, the DX-12 belt on that. And when I got the DX-19, I was it was so hard to take the, the belt off. I thought, you know, it's non-removable. You can't do it. It's just not possible. And I looked everywhere online to see if anybody else was able to take it off. And there were probably a handful of people that were able to, but uh, they never showed how to take it off. So, um, I mean, there would be talk about it on forums and such, but you couldn't understand how to take it off without uh, somebody actually showing you. So that's basically what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you guys how to remove the DX-19 belt from the figure itself. And uh, I advise you guys that if you try this, uh, you have to be very, very careful because the DX-19 belt does have the... Uh, possibility of breaking since it's just plastic so there is a high possibility of breaking it so this isn't for the faint of heart if you want to try this yeah like i said before uh i just gave up i said uh forget it uh there's it's it's impossible to take it off without breaking it so I just gave up and, um, and pretty much moved on. Uh, but I came back around and I said, you know what? Uh, after a year of having it, I said, if, if it breaks, I'll just buy a, a DX12 uh, belt to replace it. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to try it. So that's what I did. And I'm going to show you what I did. So he here it is, the DX-19 belt. And you, you can't really tell where the, uh, the uh, split is to unclip it. 
but it's right between um, where you place the grapple gun and the rest of the left side of this belt. If I flip it to the inside, you can see the gap. It's right there. So that's pretty much what you have to find in order to separate the belt uh, from each side. And let me tell you guys that it's a really, really tight fit. There was a couple of times where I thought it was actually going to break. So what I did was you have to wiggle it left, or I mean up and down. See, that's what I did. I just kept wiggling and wiggling until it came uh, off the pegs. So as you can see, there's three pegs and three holes. Pretty much just like the uh, DX12. The only difference is uh, uh, the fit is very, very tight. Especially when it's on the figure, it's harder to take off. Or, or I mean, it's like harder to wiggle off and get it out of the holes. So, so that's that's pretty much all you had to do. But m mine wasn't fully uh, clamped shut to make it easier to take off. I, I had a lot more uh, trouble trying to unpeg it when it was on the body, when it was on the figure itself. That's why, I, like I said, I I was afraid that it was actually gonna break a couple times. So that's why I'm urging caution to you guys if you wanna do this, that there is a possibility of breaking it. Uh, fortunately for me, I was able to take it off with no problems, except for the difficulty. So there you go, guys. That's my uh, demonstration on how to remove the DX19 belt. And you can see right now how I have them posed in the Hong Kong scene on the Dark Knight. So. I got them posed up with the uh, DX12 plane belt. And uh, I bought the, uh, the, or I should say I rebought the DX12 sticky bomb gun because it has the uh, magnetic attack attachments. Because this belt has two magnets in the back where you can attach the DX-12 sticky bomb gun. The, this belt I already had left over from my uh, DX-12 that I sold. And then he's also got the backpack. You guys remember in my review of the DX-19, I had this look. I just didn't have the actual belt on in that review, so... But I'm happy to report that everything worked out really good. And I finally got my wish that to make this figure look screen accurate, he's got everything. He has the belt that he had on in that scene. He's got the sticky bomb gun that was attached to his belt. Mask off. Christian Bale head sculpt on and the backpack. So I'm I'm one happy camper. <laughs> All right, guys. That is it for this video. And I will catch you guys later on the tube. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And... Later, guys.